सर इज ऑल्सो रनिंग अब चैनल एज प्रसन्ना गद्रे ऑन सेक्शुअल स्किन हेयर माइंड एंड स्पिरिट स्पिरिचुअलिटी रिलेटेड टॉपिक सर वार्म वेलकम टू दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस Yeah, thank you. Handing uh, over to you, sir. Yeah. So, am I visible? Yes, sir. And my presentation is also visible, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So, the first thing is that before starting the uh, foreplay, as regards nudity, isn't it in this language? Uh, just a second. I am trying to move the slide. Take a minute. Yeah. So. correct so before starting that i request the audience those who are on laptop that on the right hand side of uh, the corner you are having the view you can move to that view and you can select what kind of view you want side to side speaker view or full speaker view or the presentation view that is your choice okay so as regards the foreplay well uh, uh, now it is 10 uh, 55 so i think we are starting at 10 minutes bit late because uh, the initial presentation over rolled so if i can get at least 5 minutes extra that would be good and if it finishes well in advance that would all, also be good so nange se khuda darta hai khuda se jan hum nekad ganga sagar nanga milan kare bole kam khullam khulla bindast bole ye jo hai hum kyunki sexologist mein hai dam so friends with this uh we would be actually striping of nudity itself in a scientific way and make the nudity nude and i would be enlightening on the authentic truths and the dark secrets okay so beginning with the etymology or what is the word origin or the deeper roots of this word nude or naked and friends uh these are all different words as per the wordology or semantics or semiotics or as per the linguistic and literature science and you can see all the words the nouns and verbs are there the meanings of the word nude or naked uh, has a proto indo european language origin which itself has origin in sanskrit so the word nude and naked actually has been taken from the sanskrit word nagna okay and we should be proud as regards it bio evolutionary what does nude mean it means that getting hairless okay or the covered external most covered is removed say for example a caterpillar okay when it comes out of its shell and uh, we have having all these different uh, sayings as naked as a robin a jaybird or as naked as a worm and are plants naked apart from animals and humans yes plants botanically okay so botany and nudity science are also naked and we know that uh, in the plant kingdom we are having the algae then we are having the bryophyta pteridophyta okay these three and finally we are having angiosperms and gymnosperms gymno is naked whose seeds are visible so the nudity world is not only in humans but also here moving ahead friends i would be having three type uh, parts of presentation and after every presentation i would present a thank you slide because so much amount is there to talk as regards this that maybe with the time would be less so what i am going to do is i will be giving more stress on the medical science and the sexology and the nudity because it will be practical pragmatic utility based user friendly and after you listen to this presentation directly from tomorrow onwards you should be able to apply whatever we are discussing and enhance your practice financially as well as at satisfaction level in the sexual medicine okay so left hand side i have shown psychology is connecting okay and the third is the humanities and nudity because friend in human sexuality and nudity we should know uh, biology okay then the geology and the geography it uh, affects the culture and the ethnicity of a tribe uh, uh, or a group uh, in a particular country and not only that but history then uh, philosophy politics economics everything is related psychology so many things law ethics morality 
Uh, then in philosophy, we are having uh, subjects like existentialism, uh, then uh, uh, epistemology, uh, aesthetics, everything is related to nudity. So this is the list I have given. And if time uh, permits, I will be talking on the third one. Now, what is to do list the as per the Stephen Covey, we have to do first things first. So I will be talking on the medical science and the sexual medicine and nudity. Okay, one, two, three, I have shown. These were the three. So the first now. Yes, friends, now uh, every sexologist should know that unless and until we study and we know mind, sex, nudity, we cannot become a better sexologist. The reason is that these three are definitely mutually exclusive areas, but they are not so much a watertight compartment and they are correlated and interdependent. Okay. Uh, that means unless and until you understand mind, you cannot understand sex. Unless, unless and until you understand both of them, you cannot understand nudity. Okay. And unless and until you understand three, we cannot practice sexology. And at the interface of mind, sex and nudity is the dermatologist's organ. And that is the organ of skin. Don't forget, friends, that our sense organs and basically the skin is a sexual organ. Okay. Uh, and I always say, that a sexologist should know ki manatla sparsha kai ahe ani sparshatla man kai ahe he janun ghena patient cha drushtine aplyala he khup mahatvacha ahe so what we should know then uh, well friends now in the presentation whatever slides i have shown uh, i have marked sh sc and st these are the three parts of sexology sexual history taking sexual counseling sex therapies at a reductionistic approach okay and the, the uh, whichever slide is relevant for uh, sh sc or st i have mentioned that in my slide so moving ahead the first thing is that uh, let us combine uh, these things okay start with the bank start asking the questions about undressing timing of a couple okay this is very 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 important Let's make the nudity itself nude scientifically, okay? Uh, yeah, so how much time the couple takes coming together, okay, to touch and to make the sensuous love? Usually, it should be 5 to 10 minutes, yeah? But the thing is that people take only 1 or 2 minutes. Okay? Samagamana pasunte love making paranta. Coming together, sama adhik agamana, samagamana, sandhya hai, pasun love making paranta tumcha kiti ved zatu. Okay, you can ask an individual or you can ask a couple because timing is very important. Kutlai gushti mode, kutlai vedala gushti keli zate and kiti accurately keli zate, isn't it? Now, just a second, I think it's uh, not moving. One minute. Yeah. Then comes that how much time from sensuous love making to starting self or mutual undressing. You remember that usually the rule of double applies. When you have to minute, ekatrayana and kissing karana la lagle. So from kissing to starting undressing, it should be 10 to 20 minutes. But as I have shown you that when they are getting nude, okay, and we, we should ask specifically in an articulate way. Okay, these questions you start asking to your patients and the couples or individuals. So the thing is that timings are not applicable when a quickie sex is there or a very wild sex is there. Okay, yes. Uh, why it is getting hold up? Okay, yeah. So again comes the third question. How much time from getting undressed to partially nude? Sense of time is lost from year onwards, but can be variable from Couple to couple. Okay. Kyuki jitna wo pass jate utna arousal bada jata hai jitna nudity ke pass jate hai. And once the arousal is there, always remember, friends, that on the stage and on the bed, people start losing out the sense of timing. Yeah. So the actual nude foreplay starts now. The true relaxed, okay, the nudity therapy and the nude body. Remember that the nude body of the spouse or a partner is the best tonic. Yeah, and as it is always said, the most important sexual organ 
is not only between the two legs, but it is between the two ears and that is the brain as well as all the sense organ. Okay. How much time from getting partially new to completely new? You ask this timing. See friends, if you ask a patient or a couple that do you give time to foreplay? Then they say, they have read somewhere something, okay. And they say, ha, karto na ame, foreplay la time de to. But always remember, and please do not then immediately agree with this sentence, okay. The reason is that you have to be very articulate and you have to dug up the history like an archaeologist, okay. So foreplay, ha, ame karto, foreplay is a very vague term. So you have to ask them, foreplay karta manje ne imka kaya karta. What do you exactly mean by foreplay? How much time? Can you specify different actions which you do, whether it's a caressing, whether it is hugging, it is touching, it is smooching or kissing or, or moving body parts on each other and using all kinds of liberty and creativity? Do you have a sensuous massage and a sexuous massage? Uh, do you have a genital massage? Do you mutually masturbate? Do you have sex while having bath? At what time, at which place, on the OTA, okay, or uh, the kitchen OTA, where in the hall, all these things ideally should be in toto ask. And another thing is that, as you know, patient is what I paribhashaste. Sexology, as you know, that uh, in a general medicine, a patient comes and, tell, and says to you, uh, Dr. Mala, port maza bigadle. So, port bigadle manja nemka kaisale. Okay. Means a person who is having gases will also say port bigadla. A person who is having diarrhea will also say port bigadla. A person who is having vomiting as well as constipation will also say port bigadla. What does he mean? Okay. Or she mean? So similarly, kamzori hai, a manje ka hai. Ejaculation tuja vashe. Ejaculation manje kamzori hai. Ka erectile dysfunction manje kamzori hai. Ka vaginismus manje kamzori hai. Okay, new ho ami ekme kan pude nagno ho to means what exactly? So you have to ask what the patient means. This is very, very important. Okay, so then what is the summary? So my my presentation will be a seven star presentation, pun intended. Of course, it's still a lighter vein and I'm joking. But at the end of the presentation, you will know what is that seven star. Okay, so... Uh, now it is 11, uh, 2 or 3, I think. Nah? We have a good amount of time. So the, uh, this is the main slide. This is a uh, take-home message. You can always have a screenshot of this slide. Okay. After, at the end of the seminar and at and today's end, you should know nah, what Gadre has shared and what how I can apply what Gadre has said in my own clinic immediately. So friends, ask the timing between these, coming together, starting body love, undressing, partially nude and totally nude. This is what you should be asking in the sexual history taking and also focusing on the counseling. Okay, now let us move ahead. Uh, friends, uh, I hope I am neither fast nor slow. Organizers? It's great going, sir. No problem. Okay. Now, friends, this is very, very important that what is dyshabiliophobia? So, dyshabiliophobia is fear of undressing in front of someone. Now, who is that someone? Yeah. Uh, everybody has a fear to undress in front of a stranger or a little acquaintance or friend, uh, more than acquaintance, but less than friendship. Okay. But if a your patient is getting this heavy leophobia that is fear to undress in front of spouse or in front of a lover or a beloved or in front of near and dear ones, then that is the problem. And even the occasions are important. So this is the question you should ask. So, uh, means if uh, uh, patient then it is understandable that a person feels uh, shame, uh, embarrassed to undress in that common room. But feeling, uh, having fear to undress on a seashore, at, at a swimming pool, or in front of your partner in a, in a bed, the occasion and the site and the place, then it is problematic. Then that, that goes in phobia. Okay. Yeah. So let's move ahead. <clears throat> yeah. So now we come to something called as nudity and darkness, fear of darkness. So apart from fear of removing the clothes, as regards nudity, friends, some have fear of darkness. Yeah, Two types. Now, many psychiatrists are there. 
if they are having exogenous depression because of some sexual problem then as you know as the evening goes and the night comes near patient la dhadhadayla lagto are i now i have to become nude now uh, he will uh, because then he has that experience of performance anxiety of any sexual situation so that is uh, that is one thing and the patient can have fear of darkness in the dawn if he is having endogenous depression which is causing secondary sexual problem so you, uh, as you know the endogenous depression dawn mein zyada rehta hai exogenous depression sham ko rehta hai correct i think this is uh, yeah, uh, correct me if i am wrong but this is as per my knowledge and this is how it is related to sexuality and people do not have sex people do not have sex uh, in the light okay that doesn't mean that a person should have sex in um, uh, halogen lamp but the light should be there so there could be many reasons okay uh, people are fear uh, to show one's nudity to the partner and uh, the reasons is i will let you know yeah okay before that was enum uh, let me enumerate yeah so the reasons could be uh, that uh, there are a lot of puritanical restrictions there is a sexual child abuse in the uh, in the ch- uh, in the childhood days or maybe a misogyny and a misophobia or some uh, androgyny androphobia or a dis- uh, or a negative sexu- uh, sexual emotions like aversion fear disgust for sex okay and so many reasons could be there so uh, or the skin problems are there so what are the skin problems due to which a person will fear to undress so you should ask and see that uh, does it mutually interfere in the enjoying touch togetherness the skin disorders like skeloid and nudity because that immediately hampers the self esteem do you feel it is contagious, uh, contagious or sexually transmitted the the patients have this notion vitiligo and keloid can be transmitted so asking the history and checking is very important then another thing is vitiligo this is very common okay uh, we have i have treated uh, so many patients being a dermatologist as well as a sexologist that uh, especially the males they do not tell before marriage that they are having vitiligo for the obvious reason that it is having social stigma and especially they do not tell when the vitiligo patches are on the genitals because it's a double whammy with the stigma of the genitals the stigma of the vitiligo and now always if if they if they are married and coming then it's a different story but friends if you are having a pre marriage counseling then have the history and i or i am of the opinion that whichever disease of whichever body part and tissue the patient is having uh, motivate the patients to tell the truths of their biological diseases to the would be husband wife or would be in laws because if they don't uh, and that that's the reason they are having the fear of darkness and fear of nudity and that's the reason that they do sex by putting clothes without remo- removing the inner garment and in the darkness मी मी गेल्या सात वर्ष माझं लग्न झालेलं आहे मूल आहे पण आम्ही सात वर्ष माझ्या बायको बरोबर डॉक्टर मी फक्त अंधारामध्ये सेक्स करतो आणि फक्त झिप झिप खाली खाली करतो मी पॅन्टची आणि मगच सेक्स करतो का कारण की माझ्या जनायटल्स वरती भिटिलिगो आहे ओके सो दिस इज फॉर मॅरिड कपल्स कमिंग टू दॅट प्री मॅरिटल काउन्सिलिंग टेल दॅम दॅट यू प्लीज टेल बिकॉज रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स दॅट इफ द इन लॉज अँड द स्पाऊस realizes the, that the person is having such kind of disorder they feel cheated okay and the trust goes away and as a psychiatrist and psychologist and even other doctors know that in relationship love comes later trust is very important because trust is a structural and a functional unit and what is trust the predictability i can predict that samne wala the person who is in front of me for 80% of the times he will behave in, uh, in uh, the same manner okay this is called as predictability and reliability and that is trust so that trust gets shaken up and the entire marriage can go for a divorce so please remember this and check for this so do you feel you become sexually less attractive when exposed has your sexual partner passed any remark on your nude body do you get awkward embarrassed shameful when you are when you are having romance foreplay sex and nude these things are very important because 
cosmetic psych, uh, psychological aesthetic issues they are intervened okay so even an acne person and if the acne is on the back the lady is not ready or, or even the gents and if, if there are a lot of uh, patches and blemishes to become nude okay yeah so and of course dysmorphophobia which you know is very much related to sexuality and nudity i do not have six packs abdomen i am me uh, i am uh, endomorphic and obese and my body uh, bmi is very high then that definitely affects the sexuality nudity and the self esteem and it is an identity crisis okay dysmorphophobia so we should also explicitly ask for this tula tula tujhi image avadat nahi ka मी पेशंटला विचारतो तुम्ही पेशंटला विचारा किती तरी लोक मी त्यांना विचारतो का हो तुम्ही आयुष्यामध्ये स्वतःला नग्न बघितलंय का आरशामध्ये आणि ते म्हणतात नाही मी अजून आयुष्यामध्ये स्वतःला पूर्ण नग्न पाहिलंच नाहीये मला भीती वाटते रिझन आर मेनी राईट फ्रॉम हाऊ द पेरेंटिंग इज ऍज रिगार्ड न्यूडिटी ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन आर इम्पॉर्टंट नाव फ्रेंड द थिंग्स दिज आर कॉल्ड ऍज अ लव्ह बाईट्स ओके एस एच इज रेलेव्हन्ट टू सेक्शुअल हिस्ट्री आय ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू how to check anybody nude in the clinic do you strive immediately no okay obviously in the sexuality clinic and a doctor there is an implied consent what i do in my clinic is that in case of opposite gender that is females i tell the females that i will be testing you checking you in presence of my receptionist or front office or my wife you should go inside i will uh, draw the curtain you undress i will put a shawl on you and part by part body segment i will check even being a dermatologist and a cosmetologist there are many disorders which cover the nude part of the body isn't it which affect sexuality disseminated psoriasis eczema lichen planus okay so uh, how i check even a male patient or even a male patient having an std okay first i tell ki pehle ni shirt kaada remove your shirt keep your trousers and uh, uh, under pant inside then i check anteriorly posteriorly medially laterally all sides of the body then what i do ask then i ask him okay you now you put the shirt now you remove the trousers and then i see the part which is below the pant the undergarment and afterwards i tell him okay now you put the trouser lie down either in a supine or a prone position uh, depending on the problem is on the buttocks or on the genitals and just now lower the inner garment or the under pant so we should respect the nudity of the patient and in a graded way check the patient ekdam dhadkan genitals us tapasle e e bas re dakho tujhe genitals show me your penis okay shishna dakhwa okay or, or even baila even gynecologist also see uh, uh, most of the patients will immediately lie down because they have come up with that mentality and frame ke dakhvaycha che doctor anna but people with a nudophobia and with all these things Uh, uh who are a bit shameful they will not accept it okay now let's move ahead uh camouflage and in uh, tetanus toxicity uh, and antiseptic creams well this is for the love bites okay yes yeah, so this is neurophobia is the fear of nudity and as i told you so many things in in a uh, infertility 10 to 60% of infertility where both the patients are having all the parameters normal okay idiopathic causes are there such hidden causes could be there and even in case of non consummation of marriage neurophobia can be one of the reasons okay and as i have told you that a lot of negative emotions how the brought up of the child is there and uh, the patient even fears to remove the clothes in front of the doctor so we have to dig this and that is very important neurophobia haptophobia okay so many different names now all these phobias are actually can be a cause of sexual incompatibility well i i have not presented a paper i am going to do that i have a, a index and a research done for last 28 years in my practice of sexology as regards 14 parameters of sexual incompatibility one of this is the haptophobia haptophobia is a fear of touch okay again reasons could be many okay uh, common as being a sexual abuse and uh, again puritanic uh, injunctions and admonitions by the parents hat no kolau nunni la hat no kolau e ajibat chaddi khalun ka asa yetos 
लहानपणी असं जर का रागवलं तर एकदम भीती बसते या विषयाची सो इन केस ऑफ हॅप्टोफोबिया हॅप्टिक टेक्नॉलॉजी हॅप्टस इज टच ओके सम पेशंट डू नॉट लाईक टू शेक हँड्स सम पेशंट डू नॉट लाईक टू हग इन द सोसायटी वाईल अदर्स आर हगिंग ओरिएंटेड अँड टच ओरिएंटेड ओके काही जणांना काही जणांना असं हाक लावलं की ए अजिबात हे जवळ नको येऊ रे मला अँड सम चिल राईट फॉर अँड धीस कॅन बी सीन फ्रॉम चाइल्डहूड डेज अँड सो सम चिल्ड्रेन विल से टू देअर मॉम अँड टू देअर डॅड ओ प्लीज गिव्ह मी अ हक सो नाव द थिंग इज दॅट इफ आउट ऑफ टू आउट ऑफ द कपल इफ वन इंडिव्हिज्युअल इज हॅव्हिंग अव्हर्जन फॉर टच and another uh, that is haptophobic and another is having love for touch that is haptophilic then it's a sexual incompatibility so you should know this very much and it's very very important okay so to summarize nudity and phobia connections nocturnal dyshabiliophobia okay dysmorphophobia neurophobia and haptophobia and for the treatment as you know that there are fogging techniques then uh, behavioral techniques systematic desensitization cognitive behavior therapy graded exposure say for touch ask them to touch over here okay then to the nude body self touching then ask the partner to touch gradually say for example dyshabiliophobia okay have sex first with the entire clothes then only have sex with uh, by by removing the shirt so graded desensitization for all these things and of course uh, rebt albert ellis ji ahe uh, aaron beck ji cb cbt ahe so many things are there yeah so this is very important friends you know maslow's hierarchy yeah repeat history of developmental changes now sex is the only thing remember friend in our life uh, it's 11 i think kiti vazle 11 uh, 17 11 17 yeah so uh, sex is the only thing uh, which is experienced and expressed at the same time no other thing in life you do like this okay now the thing is that see uh, the parents they take their infant and the parents they take their toddler in their hand and they kiss okay the caress they hug they kiss each and every body part of the nude body of the infant uh, till toddler till the age of 6 now what is happening as per maslow's hierarchy you know the maslow's hierarchy abraham maslow first the primary needs then the security needs and the safety needs and the third is the need of belongingness so when a parent is touching a nude baby actually the baby gets the message that i belong to someone and somebody belongs to me okay and all the acts and the parent uh, kisses uh, the baby right from top to bottom and including buttocks also so the thing is that how much amount of bodily love you were showered with and are you showering to your spouse and kid is what you ask which part of body is kissed that is also important now the thing is that what happens friend see the same act of kissing and hugging okay is repeated in between the couples in the bed what parents did to the children the same thing your spouse or your partner is doing to you and what message one gets at suhagrat also is i belong to someone and somebody belongs to me okay the belonging need are being fulfilled of maslow by by being nude with each other and being open with each other now as regards i have over here given uh, the the half truths of the good touch and bad touch okay but before that let me tell you this two important things so what i want to say is that whatever parents do with the kids as regards the body hugging and all the body touching uh, things that is repeated in the spouse but 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 friend this is very important in life and in sexology and psychology that the same act see in human being it is that the same act but the intentionality the and the context and the reference is different than the meaning of the act changes in parenting the intention is parenting and not sexual and of course the genitals are not touched okay while in the uh, uh, whenever the contact of the nude body is between the spouse the intention is sexual and not parenting okay and the genitals are touched but in the both the cases 
the message goes that i belong to somebody and somebody belongs to me and that's the reason and uh, why the bed life and marathi life influence each other okay see marathi life or pyar ho jata hai while in case of sex sex is done through the body and with the body by the body and of the body democratically where you can with the will power and volitionally command the body to go and start having sex so it is under direct command and that's why if such kind of caressing touches are increased then the love between the parent sibling as well as love between the spouse spouses that does increase okay so now history of this is a very powerful method of sex education okay by taking bath till the age of 6 it is said that taking bath okay and uh, the parents should do sex education of their children the comfortability of the and the acceptance of the body in a natural way is imbibed if the parents take bath uh, along with the kids i have written a book over here uh, uh, as regards hello sexuality it has this but what i want to say is that this is very important okay yes so to summarize friends you know that as per the transactional analysis uh, these three parent adult and child Al albert uh, thomas harris and eric burn so this should be integrated if we have time we will uh, talk as regards this and you should ask as regards parent mindset about nudity about the touch and sex about nudity and sex education and of course is it balanced with matters of confidentiality and privacy nudity healthily enjoy karta yete ti kashi karaychi he mulanna te ekikade shikvaychach ahe but at the same time confidentiality and privacy cha mahatva pan shikvaychay that is very important okay yeah and the plicit model of sexology yeah so you so let us not enter into the details because we are having less time so the equations in the parents uh, in the individuals is that penis plus vagina is equal to sex kiwa to ani ti palangavarti sambhog karta hai evdas lokancha manamade yeto even in in case of doctors also and because we are not trained na you are undergraduate and postgraduate level and for sex educator it is just a biology of organs okay and even for sexologists so many i have seen that what is sexology ha premature ejaculation and erection आणि मग बायकांचं काय ओके बट रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स दॅट वी शू वी शूड टेल इन अवर काउन्सिलिंग दॅट एन्जॉईंग न्यूडिटी ऑफ विथ अँड बिकॉज दॅट मीन्स रेसिप्रोकल कॉजेशन विथ द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स बायोसोमॅटो सेक्शुअली न्यूडिटी कॅन बी एन्जॉयड इफ इंटिमसी इज देअर इफ लॉड ऑफ टच इज देअर अँड न्यूडिटी इन्क्रीजेस द अमाऊंट ऑफ टच इट इन्क्रीजेस द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द बॉडी डॉक्टर नीना मॅडम येस्टरडे हॅड टोल ना दॅट द सेन्सेशन्स so obviously if the nudity means what we are increasing the surface area of the body na so to uh, to get touch and to touch the other person then the wow orgasms and be creative not as well as naughty and enjoying nudity also means having a sex talk togetherness love and bonding the word glue is very very nice isn't it so i always say that uh, now we are we have done almost the interplay of nudity but i always say that the afterplay uh is very important and that is called as a pillow talk that means after the orgasm and ejaculation and wetting of vagina is over if the couple falls asleep then there is a sexologically we say that there is no sexual bond or at least even a marital bond between the two and they are doing just sex for mechanical social reasons but if the couple after the orgasm uh they cuddle with each other they are under one quilt eka pangruna khali and uh, lying in the bed below the pillow they are going to talk uh, and communicate how nicely they enjoyed the nudity of each other and sex and taking the dis important decisions of their life okay that is called as pillow talk that should be there in after play kiti pillow talk hote that is an index tumhi vicharat ja tumhi सेक्स झाल्यानंतर मस्तपैकी मिठीमध्ये राहून गप्पा मारता का दॅट इज अन इंडेक्स दॅट द कपल इज सेक्शुअली अँड मराठी व्हेरी मच बॉन्डेड ओके येस सो टू एन्जॉय टुगेदर वी हॅव दिस दॅट विथ द फ्युएल अँड द बन्सन बर्नर ऑफ द पॅशन अँड द फ्लेम्स ऑफ न्यूडिटी वी आर हॅव्हिंग द पॉ अँड द पॉट इज ऑफ बेड यु यु पुट ऑल दिस थिंग्स दॅट द टुगेदरनेस टच इंटिमसी वाव क्रिएटिव्हिटी लव्ह बॉन्डिंग कम्युनिकेशन 
ओके फाइव स्टार फोर स्टार पॉइंट हे महत्वाचं आहे अँड दॅट इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज अ जेस्टाल्ट ऑफ सेक्स नाव यू नो वॉट इज जेस्टाल्ट जेस्टाल्ट इज होल होलिस्टिक कम्प्लीट आणि जेस्टाल्ट म्हणजे काय द होल इज मोर दॅन द सम टोटल ऑफ इट्स इंडिव्हिज्युअल पार्ट वेल जेस्टाल्ट हॅज नथिंग टू डू विथ जेस्टाल्ट थेरपी दो इट हॅज इट्स कनेक्शन सो दिस इज वॉट हाऊ दिस इज हाऊ द न्यूडिटी शुड बी एन्जॉय सो फोर स्टार तो हो गे अभी तीन स्टार बचे है येस नाव इफ द पर्सन इज हॅव्हिंग इरेक्टाईल डिस्फंक्शन हायपो ऍक्टिव्ह सेक्शुअल डिझायर डिसऑर्डर ड्राय वजायना अँड ऑर्गस्मिया आज देम टू बी मोर न्यूड मोर द मेरियर वाईल इन केस ऑफ प्री मराठी सेक्स सॉरी प्री मॅच्युअर इजॅक्युलेशन प्री मॅच्युअर इजॅक्युलेशन पी एम ई पाहिजे चुकून ते प्री मराठी सेक्स एस आले सॉरी फॉर दॅट इट शुड बी पी एम ई हा सो प्री मराठी एज्युकेशन आज द पर्सन टू हॅव सेक्स विथ फुल क्लोज सिम्पल बिकॉज इन इन मेडिसिन ज्यादा जो है वो कम करते है और कम जो है जो ज्यादा करते है सो अराउजल डिझायर नाही है तो फिर ज्यादा न्यूड कॉन्टॅक्ट कीजिये इजॅक्युलेशन जल्दी से आ रहा है शीघ्र विरे पतन हो रहा है तो कॉन्टॅक्ट दोनो बॉडी का कम कीजिये और गेट द क्लोज इन बिटवीन सिम्पल आस्क युअर प्री मरा प्री मॅच्युअर इजॅक्युलेशन नॉट मराठी सॉरी प्री मॅच्युअर इजॅक्युलेशन पेशंट्स टू हॅव सेक्स विथ द क्लोज पुट ऑन ओके सिम्पल न्यूडिटी थेरपी येस अँड ऑफकोर्स सेन्सेट फोकसिंग दिस इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इन न्यूडिटी थेरपी वी आर हॅव्हिंग एकशे आठ मर्मास दे आर नथिंग बट अ क्लस्टर ऑफ फ्री नव एंडिंग्स विच आर डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द सेन्सेस सेक्शुअल सेंटर्स इन ब्रेन अँड दे गिव्ह दॅट वाव फिलिंग ओके एकदम बाथरूम मध्ये गेला आणि नळ कोणीतरी शॉवर वरती ठेवला आणि तुम्ही उघडला तर पाठीवरती एकदम पाणी पडलं असं जे होत ते तसं असं पेशंटला सांगायचं मेटामोर मेटाफर देऊन दॅट दॅट इज वॉट दॅट वाव फिलिंग इज देअर ओके अँड ऑन न्यूड बॉडी दे शुड फाइंड आउट फॉर इच अदर अँड कम्युनिकेट की न्यूड बॉडी वरती इथे टच केल्यावर मला जास्ती इरॉटिक वाटत ओके येस अँड इरॉटिक अँड पॉन इज बेस्ड ऑन द लेवल ऑफ न्यूडिटी सो नॉन जेनायटल न्यूडिटी अँड पॉन इज सेन्च्युअस अँड सॉफ्ट वेल वेअर जेनायटल न्यूडिटी इज देअर हार्ड रफ परवर्स चाइल्ड न्यूडिटी अँड क्रिमिनल द लोअर वन्स आर नॉट मीन्स इवन लिगली दे आर नॉट करेक्ट द अपर वन्स कॅन बी डेफिनेटली एन्जॉईड सो डू यू एन्जॉय सीईंग न्यूडिटी टू टुगेदर ऑफकोर्स विथ अ म्युच्युअल कन्सेंट अँड रीड इरॉटिका that can be a good stimulant for all the hyposexual disorders so the what is the the uh, the five star is the to summarize use treatment of sex problems uh, you can take a screenshot gestalt of sex nudity therapy sex sensate focusing erotica and can use healthy soft porn as a stimulant with a mutual consent without become victim and condition for it well friends i am neither against or nor endorsing it okay uh yeah uh, organizers how much time i am having now so till 12 minutes to go thank you very good kya baat hai so thoda speed bada bada dunga agalmatophilia is a sexual attraction for statues okay the main part i have finished huh? five star now some important and interesting to add to your knowledge which you should know now a day will come where people will start having sex with new robots okay so this is a nudity of tomorrow then as you know uh, there is something these three are the perversions uh, exhibitionism is where you are what you can say striking your nudity on the vision of somebody manje tumhi tumcha nagna sharirane konacha tari nazare varti aghat karna vait aghat that is exhibitionism and what is voyeurism तुमच्या नजरेने लोकांच्या न्यूड बॉडीवरती आघात करणं सो दिज आर दर्वर्जन्स अँड द गर्ल्स अँड कॉर्पसेस दॅट इज द नेक्रोफिलिया न्यूड अँड डेड बॉडी बरो सेक्स ओके अँड या एक्झिबिशनिझम अँड ऑल दिस थिंग्स दॅट इज बिकॉज ऑफ लो सेल्फ एस्टीम ऍट अ बेस लेवल लेट अस नॉट एंटर द डिटेल्स सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज ओव्हर नाव दिस इज द सेकंड थिंग्स इज सायकोलॉजिकल न्यूडिटी माइंड ओपननेस 
साइकी एंड न्यूडिटी एंड द थ्री इमोशन दिस आई विल ट्वेल्व फटाफट बोल देता हूँ साइकोलॉजी ऑफ न्यूडिटी एंड द साइकेट्री ऑफ एंड न्यूडिटी एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड टू इच अदर नाउ वॉट दैट नाउ वॉट आर द फर्स्ट द सेक्शुअल इमोशंस ओके द साइकी ऑफ न्यूडिटी इज दैट दीज देर आर ओनली थ्री इमोशंस विच डू यू डू नॉट फाइंड इन एनिमल्स ओके विच आर एक्सक्लूसिवली इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स थ्री इमोशंस नॉट फाउंड इन एनिमल्स okay maybe the fourth that is physis and curiosity so shyness is another shame was the first and that which causes awkwardness and embarrassment and finally guilt so guilt comes from the child department ego state shame comes from the parental department ego state and transactional analysis and shyness is more from the adult state okay because ultimately it is at a behavioral level which we can make and what is so we have talked as regards physical nudity friends what is psychological nudity and that is very important so psychological nudity is uh, then there are depending on that uh, remember that personality and character of a person as an individual very much influences the sexuality sexuality is a subset of a personality and that's why i said unless and until you know mind you cannot practice sexology unless and until you know sex you cannot be a psychologist you have to have both both are the two sides of the same coin now there are certain people who are who are not open who are secretive who are diplomatic who are shrewd and who are cunning okay they are not psychologically nude okay and even the as uh, we are having just like in a routine case we are having uh, sexually aggressive sexually passive sexually Uh, submissive personalities sexually passive aggressive personalities these are not open personalities sexually assertive personalities is a open that is called as a psychological nudity and as you know that there is a mixed brayer classification 16 personalities and the north carolina 5f grade 5 technique where openness for experience and and expression that is very important if you want to become a good good team member family member and a society member and ultimately what is that revealing our emotions feelings sentiments weakness shortcomings fantasies and agreeing are ithe mi chuklo sorry bar ka mistakes and failures that is called as psychological nudity a person who is psychologically nude can only enjoy sex sexual nudity to the largest of its extent okay Be- Why a person is psychologically not nude? Okay, they that's a far more vague or sastre. They upon kadi tari bolu. So classification of sexual disorders. Fata fata leta hu sexual myth. One should not undress in front of one's own toddler. Genital uh, skin, okay, and solid genital organs. Yeah. Then psychotic disorders with nudity as a content. One minute. गड़बड़ होता है बीच में हाँ न्यूरोटिक डिसऑर्डर विथ न्यूडिटी एज अ कंटेंट सेक्सुअल डिस्फंक्शन एंड न्यूडिटी मराइटो सेक्सुअल इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी सो दिस कैन बी इन द इनफर्टिलिटी एज वेल एज इन द नॉन कंज्यूमेशन ऑफ मैरिज एक्स्ट्रा मराइटल अफेयर्स और दे आर नॉट एंड द सेक्सुअल इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी विच आई हैव टोल्ड देन साइको सेक्सुअल बिलीव आइडियोलॉजीज एज रिगार्ड्स न्यूडिटी and the gender and the so- social dimension which uh, the famous psychiatrist uh, jacques lacan and the jacques derrida they have mentioned who was a philosopher yes and all other miscellaneous things so nude self exposure therapy can increase unconditional self acceptance and self esteem तुम्ही पेशंटला सांगत जा की आजपासून स्वतःला आरशामध्ये न्यूड बघायला सुरुवात कर आणि i accept my nudity and i accept myself as i am only when the person will accept his nude body he will accept himself and herself physically okay and only when the person will himself or herself he will accept in toto physically that will tremendously help to accept uh, uh, at a mental level self acceptance as a concept see the friends when other body parts are uh, diseased the healthy mind can work on it but in psychosexuality and psychological and sexual problem what happens the mind which if we take it as a conceptual organ that is only affected then the mind how can mind will work on mind only two things using will power awareness admittance and body will help to change the mind okay 
so all this have shown nudity psychological nudity assertiveness self esteem related and ultimately we should be intimate with each other that is profoundly deep okay uh, complete thorough and totally inside so there are 9 to 12 types of intimacy so i would say to summarize treat the following shame shyness guilt related to nudity exposure therapy increasing openness making patient sexually and nudity wise more assertive and intimacy therapy and yes we should tell the patient that be socially mentally cognitively nude with all and many okay be open to receive ideas thoughts समोरच्या माणसाचा सहज स्वीकार अँड रिमेंबर ट्राय टू अंडरस्टँड अ पर्सन ओके अंडरस्टँडिंग डझंट मीन ऍक्सेप्टन्स अँड ऍक्सेप्टन्स डझंट मीन दॅट यू आर एन्डॉर्सिंग समथिंग दिस टू आर टोटली डिफरंट बट वेन यू अंडरस्टँड सी वॉट हॅपन्स ना वी ऑलवेज थिंक हाऊ द पर्सन इज बिहेव्हिंग सेक्शुअली ऑर सोशली ऑर इन द न्यूड स्टेट वी नेव्हर थिंक वाय द पर्सन इज बिहेव्हिंग का तो तसं वागतोय अँड वेन वी ट्राय टू सॉल्व दिस वाय दॅट इज अंडरस्टँडिंग our emotional discomfort as regards a particular person or situation goes away and at least we go in acceptance phase i need not say that you should endorse but understanding accepting and endorsing ya vegale vegale gosti hai okay and ultimately i will say that be totally physically sexually spiritually nude only with one person and if you choose to be in a relationship be honest and be loyal if you can't do those simple things be single Yeah, so thank you. How, so second part is over. How many minutes are there? Or else we will so stop. So last here. five minutes we have. Okay. So humanities and nudity, how did we evolve to become nude? Why and how taboo of sex and nudity has evolved and its implications? The link of sexuality immunity, and immunity and the psychoneuroimmunoendocrinology. When we say that we have a lot of people in Marathi, we have a lot of people in Marathi. We have a lot of people in Marathi. But what is the application oriented? What is the application oriented? aerial flying mammals okay they became nude uh, the bat evolutionary link probably be, bat between birds and mammals what dinosaurs was between reptiles and birds ha ardha nagna jhala burrowing animals okay je nagna ahe hatti pan nagna ahe karan ki there are no hair in these animals na? they are open all this is for thermoregulation for aquatic purpose dolphin whale all this manatees do gone these are nude animals i am telling now the evolution so for so mammals became nude that is hairless for navigating through the fluids that is air and water for thermal regulation what about humans are yaar ye chalta kyun nahi ek minute ha so we are anatomically old but behaviorally modern evolution of neck, uh, hairlessness we moved to savannas we were exposed to lot of sunlight so the hair were uh, coming in between causing heat so evolutionary we lost the hair and that was compensated for thermoregulation with sweat glands and then what happened even because of the fire we used to get burn our hair so that was another reason why we lost hair we became nude and is some evolutionary theories say we were also aquatic so for a aerodynamic uh, swimming uh, the hair is used to uh, increase the resistance so that's why we lost hair and also we had all this lice uh, bochid piswa kharje che kide uh, on our hair so and the insect bone disorders or ticks and mites so in order to protect ourselves we, we lost hair so uh, why are we new what we are apla vastaran haran sarka kesa haran kasa jala bipedalism with mobile population for pond global adaptation sun exposure increase compensatory development of sweat glands for thermoregulation fire water and insects they made us nude which added to the fat depositions here and there making us more cur- with curves and curls and sexy and that was something called as not adaptive but exaptive function exaptive yacha artha uh, fat was uh, the intention to deposit fat was for thermoregulation and not to become sexy but the sexiness was a added advantage that was not an intention that is called as exaptic and even loss of hair in animals to to uh, give the sexual signals nudity increased with tactile erotism and sexual joy and uh, when we become bipedal the breast used and the, the genitals used to stimulate us 
so there are so many bio psycho geo anthropo socio economical political reasons why we are close but when loin covered the jenny and groin that it became that we should see what is nudity symbolically psychologically nudity is we are exposed we are judged by others we are open we are vulnerable to an attack that actually what nudity means at a symbolic level and you are being evaluated in different ways so cover it bola it's a new okay so ha, now have you taken u turn because now the exposure has become and i doubt whether exhibitionism okay in males and women's has become a norm ata kay sagle jan tp ani facebook var itke revealing photo takatat ki tyala exhibition manaycha ka nahi okay and another thing the genitals and the urinary uh, system the genital system reproductive is associated with urinary and anal system and urine and anus are what they are bad and shit and sad and mad so that's the reason probably that the taboo that anything related to noxious disgusting uh, anything related to sex is dirty uh, noxious disgusting rubbish came because of that probably so uh, yes now friends positive nudity functional nudity the humanistic i will have a quick quick share of last two three slides yeah so see the the red ones is where the nudity is functional in non sexual and the right ones uh, please uh, take a screenshot and in antar bagat basa and the negative uh, nudity uh, where the purpose and intentionality is in the red ones while the uh, uh, fashion industry and uh, taking nude fro- photographs is somewhere in between okay the the mythology heroes the warrior the art sculpture surgery medicine forensic sex education nursing healthy nudity concentration camps uh, pornography sexual harassment agalmatophilia pedophilia emotional blackmailing as regards nudity sex parties flesh dead prostitution striptees unhealthy nudity okay so 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 i am just at the fag end thanks for that extra time yes i will just skip but how uh, this slide how money is involved finally this is the last star i dedicate to history of medicine and bj medical college and dissection all this uh, presentation of mine and friends we should have an attitude of gratitude and thankful to the nudity of all the dead bodies and corpses which we have dissected and in the forensic medicine department which we have witnessed because it is because of that that today we are doctors and we are enjoying our sessions pad is in the writing pad so yeah. so finally i would say that we are new from womb to tomb thank you shukriya dhanyawad enjoy your nudity with a single partner in a very healthy romantic way jithe rati priti prinay shringar asel thank, thank you for so the excellent session sir thank you so much